Hi uh, YouTube, we're having fun and game with sa games with sourdough bread. Earlier this evening, we made what I'm calling a regular loaf with a cup of sourdough starter and then just a regular bread recipe with yeast and everything. And it was rising so slowly, we had to put it in the oven, a warm oven to help it get along and it probably took two or three hours to rise. Well, we made the dough that was supposed to sit overnight tonight probably no more than three hours ago and it has filled up this huge bowl put your hand up so they can get a feel for the size he has a fairly big hand but that's a big bowl bigger than a dinner plate and it's already ooh, more than doubled probably and this is supposed to go overnight and it's only it's not even 12 midnight yet so <laughs> i don't know what we're gonna wake up to i don't know if i should put it in the fridge oh ah, help Take good care, folks. Hi, YouTube. Here is the loaf of the quote-unquote regular bread that we made yesterday. And if Sunny Boy will... But this has the a regular bread recipe with one cup of sourdough starter added. Uh, we probably should have let it rise a little bit longer. This actually took quite a while to rise, which surprised me because we added yeast to it. It's a somewhat dense loaf. Uh, bring it and show the crumb again. Turn it. Okay. It's It's got bubbles and it's good bread, but it is a bit dense. My husband also wrapped it before it was completely cooled, which probably didn't help. Anyway, that's just to show you. And then here we have our dough, which is risen overnight. I'm happy to say that it did not escape the bowl. When I got up at 8 this morning, it was looking happy and nice and ready to go. It's now, what, 11? 12? 11.48. Almost 12. So it's been rising for about 14 hours. It might have actually fallen a little bit since this morning, but not much. And if we can bring it closer and take the wrapping off, and you'll see all of our happy little bubbles. So we're ready to make a loaf. I will put down below the recipe that I used. It's Noreen's recipe. And we're going to basically shape it the way she did. So we'll be right back. Hold on. Uh, All right. Over here we have a cutting board that we're going to use as our peel. And we have equal amounts cornmeal and uh, pasta flour. You can use semolina flour. You can use plain flour. You use whatever you have. But be pretty generous with it because this is going to rise quite a long time. And you're going to need to have a good layer of... Uh, base and here in the bowl we're going to lightly punch it down fold it in towards itself sweetie when you're done doing that the edges are slightly crusty but I don't think it's going to matter because it's going to rise a long time and I think it'll have time to hydrate and there's just a little bit of it that's crusty now because we have a nice big flat bowl, don't put that on the board yet, sweetie. Because we have a nice big flat board, I think I'm going to have my son shape it in the bowl and then transfer it to the um, cutting board so that we don't get too much flour mixed in. We want a fairly moist mixture. All right, so go ahead and try to shape your loaf. <clears throat> and what you're doing is folding it into itself to create tension surface area on the outside. <clears throat> Nothing like hands-on experience for the kids. Now pin pinch it up into a little pouch, like a round circle pouch, and then you can make it into sort of an oblong loaf. Probably good, just like that. Good. All right. And now, here, let's put this out of the way. All right. Just because I'm a mom, you know, I kind of have to get my hands on it. All right. Beautiful. All right, so now we need to let this rise again for two or three hours until it's about double in size. And we'll be back. Okay, the bread has been rising for two and a half or three hours. It has grown, but it's kind of...
kind of spread out more than it's risen up and I don't know if that was our shaping or what have you. You see there's some big bubbles that have popped on the side here. But it looks nice and bubbly so hopefully it'll be light, kind of like a ciabatta. Very moist, uh -huh. slow risen bread. I have to wait for my son to get it off of here onto the stone for me. It will be cooked on a stone in the oven. The oven with the stone has been preheating for at least an hour now. You want to get your stone good and hot before you put it in. We're going to bake this at 375 for probably about 30 minutes. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, I'm going to show you my sourdough starter. Hold on. We're really out of control with lots of happy starter. I have two quart jars that I'm sharing with friends, which are almost full. <laughs> Thank goodness I found people who want it. And then I moved mine. I have my two cups in the fridge, which is my insurance, shall we say. And if you hold on, I'll show you my other stash. Here is the rest of it that we have moved to a one gallon jar. I get my local honey in these really neat one gallon jars and they're really handy for a lot of different things. Now th this is kind of out of control. I, I just can't bear to throw any of this away but it's amazing how once it gets growing it just takes over the world. So I have what I'm giving away. I have this. I already made some bread. Two things of bread. So I've used three cups of starter. I, I just I don't know how it's growing the way it is. I'm gonna have to make some more bread soon or just throw some out. I don't think I have any more friends who want any. But it's all very, very happy. Bubbly bubbling and growy growing. So uh, we have sourdough for sure. And I'll be back when my son's here to put that bread in the oven. Here is the rest of it that we have moved to a one gallon jar. I get my local honey in these really neat one gallon jars and they're really handy for a lot of different things. Now th this is kind of out of control. I, I just can't bear to throw any of this away but it's amazing how once it gets growing it just takes over the world. So I have what I'm giving away. I have this. I already made some bread two things of bread. So I've used three cups of starter. I, I just, I don't know how it's growing the way it is. I'm going to have to make some more bread soon or just throw some out. I don't think I have any more friends who want any. But it's all very, very happy. Bubbly bubbling and growy growing. So uh, we have sourdough for sure. And I'll be back when my son's here to put that bread in the oven. While I'm waiting for him to show up, I'm going to sprinkle the top of this fairly liberally with flour. Just because that's the way Noreen did it, and I agree, those nice artisan breads usually have a nice dusting of flour. Gosh, I hope there's enough flour on this for him to get this off of here without it ruining it. I was going to slit it, but it, it's looking kind of flat, and I'm not sure if that would be a good idea. It might deflate it too much or something. So I'm not going to do that. We'll be back. Okay, logistics. Time to put it in the oven and keep your fingers crossed. You want to take that top rack out? Okay. Will it go? Oh, he did it. He's doing it. He did it. Yay. Oh, just give it a good... There you go. All right, just leave it. Leave it, leave it. And we need ice. All right, this could be interesting, folks. <laughs> it's probably going to grow off the stone, but, you know, it'll be what it is. And it will still probably taste good. I know you're just looking at a black oven right now. My son's going to throw two or three ice cubes into the oven on the, on the bottom to help create steam while it's cooking. Just throw it on the bottom. Underneath. Ugh. Ouch, 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 ouch. All right, now turn the oven down to 375 because I had it up to 450 to preheat. And set the timer for 25 minutes. Or set it for 20 minutes. I'll check it after 20 minutes. All right, we'll be back. Okay, I have the Motley crew of tasters here, or the taste testing um, 
I don't know what you want to call it. My son's going to slice, and I get the first piece of crust. Because I like the crust. And we need some butter. Oh, look at that Cause, steam. Yeah. Oh, is it still steaming? Oh, it is. Darn it. Yeah, it's still warm. You probably should have let it rest longer. Well, impatient, you know. Oh, I find that it's steaming. <laughs> yes, that's correct. Yes, PG-13. Thank you, Derek. That's great. Yes. Yeah. That's exactly why. He's sour cream and onion chips over there. <laughs> Damn. Okay. PG-13. Oh, yummy. That is sourdough. Oh, it's so good. Dalton, let your crust. <laughs> Dalton, let your. He just dropped butter on the floor. We've had a butter accident. Let your friends do the butter and show. The it folks how it looks on the inside. Oh, I'm gonna grab this one because it looks amazing. Turn a little more straight up. I guess there will need to be another. Part. There you go. There's nope, the bubbles. No, no yeast in that. Just sourdough. All right, we're gonna go eat. Take a care, folks. Oh, yeah. Okay, we have a latecomer who has a critique of the sourdough bread. Yes, it's creating legends in my mouth. Ooh, creating legends in her mouth. I love it. Take good care, folks.